I think for me, the real push is that I want to be a content creator. I feel like we're in the Bronx, and I don't just mean to say we're in the Bronx because we like being hood. It's not even that. It's we're home, man. Like, create that space for yourself first. There comes a point in the business where you have to ask yourself if you're working in front of the camera, what are the roles that I'm going to say yes to? And what are the roles that I'm going to say no thank you to? And there's power in no, and there's power in boundaries. And that doesn't mean that you're less of an actor, or less of an artist, or less of a, a go-getter if you're saying no thank you. You're just making your parameter that much more specific, which is cool. And I guess for me, the most important thing was what, what are the things that are going to make me feel good on set? It is a very male-dominated industry, and I come from the disease to please. Um, it's just I gotta get it right. Maybe it's Catholic school in me, maybe it was like that, all the honor roll stuff. But really and truly being okay with making my mistakes and saying just because I make a mistake doesn't make me less of a person. It's okay to be messy. I think when I watch TV and film, I'm looking at a finalized product, something that is finished, something that is complete. And so then when I'm looking at my work, I'm now editing and I'm going, wait, no, I don't know what I'm doing. It doesn't look as good. That comparison thing, you have to find your voice in the mess. And that's okay to be a little messy.